Hi everyone. So in this video, I oh, want to fix this. Oh. A while ago, a couple of companies have sold those RC cans under lots of different names. Brands like Shin Le Hong, Fly Hell, Kayam uh, RC, UJ99 and so on. I have three different versions of them and as you can see they all have been put to good use. But for a while now they have been gathering some dust. The body shell has seen better days. By the way, this is the Fly Hell version. And that's the Pinecon SG 1402. The body material is very cheap and it cracked very easily. But for 30 euros it was a real bargain and I kind of like the design. Coming up is the Xin Hong 9135 which has the best body design for me. From all three cars it took the most abuse but it's not visible in the body shell. And since I liked it so much I gave it an oil shock upgrade. But this one as well didn't get much attention lately. The flyhair body shell took some abuse before it started to crack. The pinecone model only took like two hits when it started to crack. It's kind of a shame because I really like the design of the body but they could have used better materials. The Xin Li Hong's body has a hinge and it's kind of a, some unnatural material, it doesn't break. Inside they're all very similarly built. They have their motor, they have their servo, they have their ESC combo, um, the servo is 5 wire. I do like the battery case of this one. Well, this one has a different kind of connector. They have Dean's connector here and the one in the middle has the worst connector for me, I guess. And it's difficult to find batteries. Here I used the strap to put in a lipo, there's your servo, all, all of them use kind of the same servo. Plan is to take the best of all three cars and put them in one car. I played around with the shocks a little bit so let's have a look at them. The shocks on the Xin Le Hong, friction dampers on the pinecone models and more friction dampers on the fly hell with dual shocks in the back. I will be using the wow stick for my work, which came with a cool magnetic mat. Links in the description. And that's how it looks inside. So I want to take everything from the back of the pineco models and put it in the Xin Li Hong model because it lets you screw in the shocks. Because they kept popping off in the Xin Li Hong. And away with them. Wait a minute, the idea was actually a different one. And while we're at it, let's clean it up a little bit. And done. Now let's get my trusty old Roomba. Um, okay. Now let's put them on and then extract the servo. After the exchange the servo has shown some weird twitching. I added a different kind of screw to the servo in hopes that it would magically change everything. It didn't really, but it, the twitching is gone when he said for full throttle. Now let's put that LiPo in and connect the battery and the ESC magically with one hand while being off camera. Dun, ta -da! Ah, gorgeous. Now let's get this thing out in the open. Now let's practice a little bit and then you will get your montage. Oh.
about two to three years ago you could find those trucks everywhere and they were actually a good bargain. Parts are still available and I'm very happy to take out my favorite one of them. Currently the prices are relatively high so they are not a good bargain anymore. Put the links in the description for them anyway and also some suggestions for other RCs. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.